Have you specifically reached out to someone like him for like a conversation? I mean, kind of. I mean, Vosh and Hassan have explicit no destiny policies. Like they'll ban like mentions of me in their chat. So yeah. Really? Just, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was a chat thing too. Holy yeah. shit. That's why, like, um, Hassan will always say, like, Pepe Ladi, or his chat will say, like, Pepe Ladi. They've got, like, nicknames for me. They won't even say, I'm, like, literally Voldemort. Yeah. That's so funny. That's so funny. What do you think, like, the breaking point is for, like, a Hassan fan for, like, realizing he's just, like, lying to them consistently? Um, for the ones that have come over to me that I've talked to, honestly, this is why I said before, um, it's usually just them, like, watching my content one time and then seeing that Hassan has, like, grossly misrepresented a lot of what I've said is usually enough to get people to, like, reconsider a lot. He's in a very fortunate position, though, because he, like, what he does right now is, like, representative of, like, the, sort of, like, the most convenient cultural opinion to have, yep. right? Yeah. So he's, he's him, in a like, very, like... The safe edgy. Like, he can even be edgy and shit, but it's very, very, very corporate safe. So things like, America deserve 9-11. Like, you can say shit like that and pretend he's being really edgy when it's, cracker. like... Yeah, cracker. Oh, I can say racial slurs as long as it's white people or Italians or something, right? Yeah. What's the other one? Uh, for you being Cuban, there's one of them. Oh, they use Gusano and yeah yeah so um but eventually that sort of like uh eye of like being convenient like it does pass with time like he's i think he's already peaked i think it's it's sort of passing a little bit and i think that yeah, like eventually he's going to be in a position where like he will have to you know really try to swim and really try to like he'll have to have conversations or he'll have to confront these things and these inconsistencies or he his channel will slowly die Mm -hmm. um yeah he's already hit that he's already hit his like a uh, peak hassan moment like his viewership has been sliding for about a year now but i don't know if he actually has it in him to seek out challenging content or not i don't know yeah there was a i feel like he might he might have it in him he's avoiding it as long as he can but back when he came up in your community he was because he had to to get bigger like because he, he had to you know, network and grapple with other creators and have these conversations to, to grow his audience. Mm -hmm. Back then, he was having conversations with people, right? Before the big blow up, before the big Twitch thing, before he cut he cut you off, right? There yeah. was a point when he was having conversations. And I mean, was he the best? No, but he was willing to have them. Mm -hmm. um, I think he, he had, like, I feel like he, he's got the personality start where he's very content to be the biggest fish in his pond. So, like, if you compare, like, Hassan will do everything he can to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow on Twitch. And like you said, he's probably hit his saturation point probably six to 12 months ago. He hit that saturation point, but he's not willing to, like, explore outside of Twitch. Like, my big growth this past year has been me. Like, every month I'm flying out to L.A., to London, to New York. I'm doing, like, different shows every single month because I'm willing to, like, branch out. And I think that's helped me a lot. But for some reason, I don't know why, Hassan seems just unwilling to explore that. I think he doesn't want to, he's afraid to overexpose himself and get caught in a situation where he has to try to defend a position or something and like actually really try. He likes to have the control of his, his own chat and his own audience and, you know, he can ban dissenting opinion and whatever and he can, I guess, ban your name in chat. I didn't even know he did that. Um, cause, uh, the thing is like when you, when you do go, the, go do these debates, um, you run the risk of getting something wrong or looking dumb and then that being clipped. And I think his worst case scenario, like probably the thing he has nightmares about is like LSF, which we already know that because he, he fucking hates LSF and he asks them, he's like, this isn't even drama. Take this down. Mm -hmm. um, that, and I think the number one worst case scenario for him is like a bunch of TikToks about like a bad moment where he looks dumb and it's just like, it's somewhat taken out of context. So it's like even more uncharitable than like even how bad he fucked up. Yeah. I think that's his like worst case scenario, like just overexposure, like yeah, putting probably. a little skin in the game and then it gets, it gets cut off and he's like, fuck, you know, he, he, I think he would probably have a mental breakdown if that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Cause at least for now, the kind of response is like, oh, well, maybe people do clip me, but it's just it's just the chuddies, you know? It's just it's Destiny's community. It's this person's community, and their opinion is invalid because of this other thing. Unironically, but, he literally blames all negative feedback he gets on the internet on my community. He'll say that. If, like, a comment section is going poorly, like, he gets his fan base to, like, bombard every Reddit thread. Like, he's deleted some threads where, like, there'll be a thread on, like, TikTok cringe or something of him going viral, and he'll literally watch it with a stream and be like, guys, we need to downvote this. Like, get rid of this. Uh, and if he's getting negative feedback on the internet, he'll just like say like, oh, it's probably Destiny's community. Even if we're like, we don't actually engage with us on that much. Like over the past like six months, there, hasn't, there just hasn't been that much to talk about. Right. Um, so, but yeah, so it's funny how like deranged he is about that. Yeah. But the thing is like, eventually he will reach a point where like, if he doesn't engage, like he will, he'll lose everything except for that very small core audience. And I'd, I'd argue that amount of people is actually probably like increasingly smaller and smaller because 
those kind of like cultish things like they do burn bright and then they kind of fall off um Mm -hmm. quickly as well um so i think in like two to three years i think he'll be in a very different place than where he is now Mm -hmm. um even if you look at like his youtube views and you look at the like the views he's getting they're not more than you like i think you get more views on youtube than he does probably i'm pretty sure Um, i do now if you combine all three of my channels it's around 20 million a month i don't know what i don't know how many channels are his though so it's hard to compare yeah but given I his think audience he has, on Twitch, I'd expect it to be like three or four times my views, yeah. Right, yeah, because his audience on, like, when you stream, you get, like, on a good day, like, 10,000, 11,000 <laughs> okay, on yeah. a good day, okay, 15 to 20,000, okay? Generally around, okay. like, five to 10,000, okay? But I know what you mean, yeah. Okay, okay, sorry, corrected. Um, He gets, like, what, 30 average? Around 20 to 30, yeah. Okay, but I think that is falling off, because I, I feel like I remember a time when it was, like, 50. Yeah. I was like, holy us, yeah, for sure. Especially yeah. the Amogus period for a lot of big Twitch streamers was like the COVID Amogus stuff was huge. Yeah, and I think that's uh, I think that's falling off. And you know, to your credit, I think that just even outside of like the way he engages with stuff, I think the content that you put out and engage in regularly is really topping anyone else in your space right now. Um, yeah, absolutely. After all the with all the you know? yeah, well, just with like. I mean, you're right about the flying out stuff. Like, flying out to talk to these people definitely puts you in another camp. Because mo- all these guys, you only ever see them in one room, mm-hmm. talking in one tone of voice, talking to the same three people, talking about the same five subjects. Yeah, when um, I hear, like, Hassan, like, won't go out and do a show with Tim Pool, it's like, bro, this guy's, like, one of the largest podcast people. I think he's got the largest alternative media podcast, I think, on the internet. I don't know if anybody's bigger than him. How are you not, like, flying out to do that show every two weeks? And Hassan could, like, like, Tim Pool is not, like, an intellectual adversary worth sweating about. Like, Hassan would, would own him, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, and as much as, like, I don't like to say it, like, Hassan's not an idiot. Like, he's pretty smart. He's good debate-wise. He can pick his battles rhetorically. Like, he did really well when he debated Andrew Tate, right? And that's another thing where it's like, bro, you could have, like, you look like a giga chat. You could be talking to Andrew Tate probably every week or two on Aiden's stream if you're trying. Why are you so f***ing afraid of this confrontation? Like, Hassan is, I think Hassan is, like, as successful as he is. I think it's like a textbook case of, like, media failure where this guy could be, like, crushing it. He's already doing, obviously, he's exceptionally successful in what he's doing, but he could be doing so much more. But he's, in a way, Hassan is kind of like washed himself, but he's just washed himself at a higher level, you know? Yeah, I mean, he, he got as big as he could get, and then he, 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 cut, he cut the cord, right? Yeah. Basically. Um, or maybe he cut it before on the way up, but he just felt he didn't, he didn't need you anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, I mean, but... You know, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't really call myself a leftist, but undoubtedly, if you want to speak from a leftist perspective in terms of like being advantageous, he has a lot going for him in terms of like, I feel like he's the only good looking leftist of all time. Yeah. Um, Which he should be capitalizing uh, on way more. Yeah. Yeah. He should be, he should be like, like thirst trap TikToks with political opinions and shit. Like, yeah, there's like a million things like that that he could be doing. Yeah. Not just that. He should be like threatening to beat the out of people like he at the level he's at he wouldn't even be punished could you imagine like for all my success which i've had a ton of success could you imagine if he would have been the one running the uh gambit in these red pill spaces like yeah holy fought uh if he fought sam hyde that would have been amazing or Um, that yeah because then it would and it do dude how many times have they talked about like punching nazis punching nazis but for him to actually box and beat up sam Hyde, it would just be an insane but Again, there's the the fear of failure. We'll keep these people from ever leaving their ponds. They just want to be the biggest fish. In That's their the ponds. thing, though. Like, mm-hmm. I honestly, you know, if you want to, if you want to talk like statistics, like I think if you put them next to each other, it's really funny to say Sam would win. But I think probably genetically, just like where they are in life, like Hassan's younger. Um, I think he. I don't think he's done any steroids, so his body probably has like kind of uh-huh. less wear on it. Maybe yeah, um, but I, I think. The one, the big thing though is that like I think I think Hyde has spent like an okayish amount of time I think training boxing and I think he Hassan, has I think Hassan has literally zero combat experience or zero combat. He, sports that's experience. true, but mm-hmm. but if Hassan tried and really really tried, it's not like a totally unwinnable thing. Like no, there's no, no. like yeah absolutely. I say it's, it's fifty fifty, if not mm-hmm. sixty forty in Hassan's favor. Like he could win. Sure, but then you think about the calculus Hassan is doing in his head. Right? This is the same calculus I did when it came time to be a StarCraft pro gamer or a streamer. Hassan has a very easy gig. It's guaranteed success. Day in and day out, he's at the top of his game. Why would he start cutting away stream hours to put his time and psychological effort into something that's not a for sure thing? That's really scary, probably. It is scary, but it's just like, you know, once again, you gotta suffer a little bit in the short term to grow in the long term, you know? 
Um, well, yeah, I mean, you have that mindset. I have that mindset. I could never be like, I can't imagine staying at the same size for years and years for lack of trying, right? Like, especially when the whole world is at your fingertips. Bro, if you're Hassan, you the whole world is right there. Um, but he's just, yeah, he just does the same thing day in, day out, and doesn't even try even, like, the slightest. I don't know. Yeah. And I and that definitely works, like, undoubtedly in the short term. I mean, he became not only one of the biggest political streamers, one of the biggest streamers. Was he in streamers. the top 10 of Twitch? Probably. It wouldn't surprise me if at one point. He might still be, yeah, top 10 viewer hours in Twitch, yeah. Yeah, one of the most subbed, I know that. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, long term, like, if you look at it over the course of, like, career length, like his career will probably at the, at the rate he's going if he doesn't really change mm -hmm. two to three years like he'll kind of be at the end of his life cycle i think maybe four or five will be truly the, the bottom um but for bit. someone like you i think you have another you know 20 in you 30 absolutely in you. Um, true 20 depends on when i want to run for president or maybe governor but i know what you mean yeah in which case i'd probably cut back on my online content to manage my state or country but yeah yeah dude Listen, you're push you're pushing it there, buddy, with the amount of words I can say on YouTube to call you. But um yeah, like just man, I just want the content.